Mirage is back with the all new 3.4 version. This release brings a completely new terrain engine written in Rust, a programming language focused on performance and safety. The new engine brings tons of new features and it's the first step towards having a more interactive UI. My favorite new feature is the live mode. Now we can finally play around with the settings and see the changes in real time. The rains can now have any resolution that your computer can handle, and they can even be rectangular. We can now move and rotate the rains with the new offset and rotation options. Use it to find a better spot or create tiles for a larger map. The scale parameter controls the real world size of terrains. We can now create anything from a small patch of land to a large valley. One algorithm alone isn't enough to cover all possible terrain. Meet terrain types. Now you can pick between different types of terrain, with each one having a different algorithm and different settings to control it. This release includes two options, smooth hills and mountains, but I plan on building up this set over future versions. This version also comes with new materials, now using image textures. These materials are more realistic and won't melt your computer like the old procedural one. The new terraces modifier has replaced Strata. Now you can control how many terraces to have in a terrain and at which position. The plateau and sea level options have also been replaced by terraces. The old edges option has also been replaced. Island is now a modifier and smooth falloff has gained a radial tab with settings to control the factor and size of the effect. Fluvial erosion is now called water erosion and the UI has been improved and simplified. It also brings some basic support for springs which let you add more water to a specific area. The new seamless modifier lets you create tileable terrains. It mirrors the borders so they can be connected. You can now decide to automatically add vertex groups or not with the new data maps modifier. This lets you generate terrains faster when you don't need those vertex groups and if you add a distribution layer later, they're added automatically. 